everybody come on in come on in oh my gosh it just seems so long since i saw you all um i've been ill if you hadn't if you didn't know i've been ill um and i had covid19 uh, symptoms so i had to have tests and they just took ages that just took ages and you know luckily that came back um totally negative i didn't have that we're not we're not quite sure what i've had but i had all the symptoms i had the fever i had the aching i had the cough so i couldn't film one because i was feeling rubbish two i was coughing constantly and then my voice went as well so it's taken ages and i've been left feeling really really lethargic but anyway i'm back so I was still doing a little bit every day. The only thing I've not really been doing was my... Um... Oh, God, my brain. I'm, I tell you, I'm still not right. Because this was all about playing. And of course, I was ill, so I wasn't really playing with anything. I did a bit of knitting here and there. So um, my habit tracker, that's what it is. So that's not really done well. But anyway, this is where I left you. I had a collage here. So... <coughs> excuse me you'll have to, you will have to excuse me i've still got a little bit of a cough left but at least my voice has come back um i have really long legs really long legs and so most tights are pantyhose as the americans call which we british laugh at we call these tights most of them are too short for me um so i love this company called snag and they do really nice long ones they do them really big for people if you've got really big legs or big thighs or anything like that as well i think they go up to a 5x but i like them because they're really long uh, and this is a postcard whenever you get a delivery from them i think it was a, i think it looked something like that this is a postcard so i thought do you know what i'm just going to make a page out of it so I cut part of it up and made a pocket and I put snag tights are the best. They're called, they're called snag um, and I had a delivery. So I wrote that there. I love snag tights. That's one of my stickers. And then I just painted it in. I just took um, a water brush in the um, <laughs> brain, the laid back lilac. This is laid back lilac, watered down, and then I flicked it. And then I just put the other part of the postcard there as a little as a little tag to pull out. So that was that page. And then here, I loved this quote. I thought it was really nice. A fact is information minus emotion. An opinion is information plus experience. Ignorance is an opinion lacking information and in stupidity is an opinion that ignores a fact i thought it was really cool because it can go round and round and round so i just wrote that put a little board around added some of the little stickers in there um this is gosh i've been gone a long time this is the seventh this was the 7th of august so this was M monk farm and we took betsy and Otis out there so this is their dad this is Jay's husband Tom and they have this lovely gnome so that's where we went and they have a big a big sand castle this was before just before I was ill actually sand castle and ice creams and things like that so yeah oh um and then I had uh, my stool got got uh, delivered and these were the stickers that were on there and this was a really weird page to start with but these were the stickers that were on there i just finished knitting that blanket so i just put some pictures of the stool and some of the stickers that were there and then also <laughs> again these are before i was ill i was a little bit behind i got a new sign um i got a new gnome and it says go away and it just makes me laugh that it's next to one of my buddhas i have lots and lots of buddhas and little things like that and it just says go away and i put i'm looking forward to your visit being over and this page was very it was the same it's where i'd cleaned up um a stencil so but i wanted them to look differently so i painted inside the stencil on this page with the rose quartz and i painted outside the stencil on this page uh, with the orange and it was sort of it was um, a shimmer page it was the, it was a negative of a um stencil so that's what that was and then here we have um martha and edith as these are ben's girls 
Um, and Martha has a rainbow bedroom. I'm, I think I've talked about this before, but look, there's a big rainbow painted on her wall there. So I've got, and so I've got just got them these new dresses and they're all in rainbow colours. So I just said my little rainbow girls love them to the moon and back. And again, this was a blank page. So I just split it into seven parts and then I just, with my inks, I just painted the stripes ac across and then added a little bit of a stencil on the top. All the photos are from my sprocket. And here we are on the 10th and Emmy and uh, Vicky moved into their, um, moved out of my house, moved into the new house and Vicky proposed. So there we go. That was the little setup in their house. The background is from the Dina Wakeley um, Collage Collective. I just, I was just looking for something with hearts and this was great, this page. So I just tore this page out stuck it on, added the photos, did the bit of doodling, etc. Um, and I wanted the hearts to show. So I think that's come up really well. This page was already done. The silhouettes were done. The doodling was done. The um, sticker was done. The only thing that wasn't done was the writing. So the writing there has nothing to do with the writing here. But I wrote all about my auntie's on end of life. So I that's what I wrote in there. It had nothing to do with this, but the page was already done. So that's how I did it. So this is when I started really feeling ill. This is the 12th. I was really, really feeling ill this day. And that's the day that we started uh, sent, um, sent off for the COVID-19 test. So this is a postcard. This is one of the Blythe Dolls postcards. And I completely doodled it. I wanted it because she was, she was mainly black, um, which is easy to doodle on. So I just added some little tears, did all this doodling, put now what, that's one of my stickers from the diary set. Um, again, a sticker from the diary thing, really not feeling well at all, ordered a postal kit. Um, and then this was the, the page I did I don't know what order I did these in. I think I waited quite, I think, well, I was really ill for quite a few days. And then I went back and did a lot more. But as I say, I couldn't, I couldn't really video them because I was either coughing or I couldn't speak. And that one to made for a very nice video. So I just used the grid stencil here. I drew the grid stencil on and then cut through it okay and then this the page on the back was already done because as i say this is a book that was done in class so i just went round here and just doodled on it and then my test came so this was the page this was one of the, the you get a little booklet and this was the front cover of it and it had my barcode so i wanted to incorporate that somehow so i just took the page it was too big so i folded it in half you can have it going either way just put some text stuck it in with some of my washi tape added a little tab there um and i just wanted to do that so this was boo nursing me he was nurse boo instead of mr boo and then here it arrived too late you're supposed to have it in the post box at a certain time and it didn't arrive till an hour and a half after that certain time which was you know it made me laugh so this was uh, the number of my test kit so again i just popped those in um he, here i just was playing really I, I wasn't really up to much at all so the block was already there from a gel plate so i added this little board around i added the little sticker from my diary thing and i just put my best fiction writing is my daily to-do list because as i was recovering every every day i was like oh i'm going to do this tomorrow i'm going to do this tomorrow and of course i got nothing done i don't even know why i said it oh, tomorrow I'm going to get up and I'm going to go do a video or tomorrow I'm going to get up and I'm going to do, the, you know, what I'm going to sort out this cupboard. When you're ill, you should just give up, but we don't, do we? So anyway, I put um, always work back. So like those of you who know me know I do my to don't list. This is the 13th and 14th um, together. And with this, I used, uh, these are stickers again, stickers from the... I have spent the whole day cleaning, tipping out my studio so everything is near. This is uh, the sticker collection one and you can actually these came from here. You can see these are my to done lists. So I pulled two of these out because again remember when you're working backwards you don't remember everything so I didn't have as much to do. Jay had to go to London to have all her 
um, injections done and I couldn't go with her. I felt awful. I couldn't go with her on the train. So Emmy went with her. Um, so I just, again, all of these are from here. You can see these are the borders. And then these little bits here are from sticker book number two, which, ha which is the more arty one. So you can see it has lots of different size stickers and things in there. And um, Queen the Label, I love it. It's Constance Hall from America, uh, from Australia. I absolutely love her. And I have a couple of her dresses. And so they arrived. So I just used the label. And the reason I put this label is in is it's called, it, the, the, the item that I bought was called Black Hearted Bitch. And it made me laugh because when I was so ill, I was a bit of a black hearted bitch. So um, it just made me laugh. So I put that in there as well okay so that's a good way of just filling more like a diary i suppose of doing that bit and i just added this with a sticker and then um i'd order i have a big collection of top martins and this particular style is called voss this particular style of sandals uh, and i'm terrible for an animal print and i thought i had enough sandals to last me forever and they brought out a cow print and i was like oh i just had to have it so again this page was done before this is the it's called um oh stash um what's it called stash of tash i think it's called it's all mustaches but they can also be wings it's a very old stencil and again it was a mop-up i'd cleaned up in a bit of a class so this was very mottled. So I just went round the outside. I, I doodled this and painted in round the outside of it. And um, this is the same photo, except I had one going one way and one going the other way. It's exactly the same photo. My sprocket had a bit of a blip and um, printed two of them together. So, and then I love this quote. It's by E.V. E. V. Hewitt. And it says, in my opinion, love at first sight existed with shoes, not with men. I just realised I haven't coloured in the full stop. There we go. So there's some of my shoes and there's the tag. I, I think I was going to add the tag in here as well, like I did with this, but um, I'm not sure where that's gone. I'll have to find it. Oh, I know where it is. I have my little thing. <laughs> this is where I shove everything. This is where all my tags and everything are. So they'll be, they'll be in there. I have a little box. I've put one of my trolleys at the side, one of my carts at the side of me now. I have one to the left with all my diary stuff and dialogue, but I've got one to the right now, so my desk is really quite clear. Um, so again, I went into my uh, sticker book. So this was from, they were actually from there. This is sticker book two, and I pulled all these out here. And this was Saturday the 15th and I just wrote about things, feeling better, just very tired all the time, sorted out the tin cupboard. There's only about eight tins in there, but I, I like them all facing forward. I'm terrible. Um, spent most of the day in the studio, doing day by day. When I say most of the day, it had been about an hour before I had to go and have a lie down. I felt pathetic. It was so, I was um, depressing myself. I wasn't depressed, but I was just pissing myself off really um and then at night i knitted and i watched killer women you can always tell when i'm ill because i'm watching like crime things and did a little doodle around that's part of a new stencil actually that i did around there but really simple to do just stuck five of them on wrote about four of them and then just added some stickers really really simple again this outline was already on this was an outline where i had placed the mask on and to clean it <coughs> excuse me so it left a bit of a silhouette so i really made the line thick i really thickened the outline and then i uh, drew two stencils so this is old school numbers and i just went through and drew it and colored this in with chopped pesto and then the inside is a new stencil um, and that's coloured in with Dirty Martini and Fresh Lime. And this, I actually used the bottom half of this. Um, let me see if I can see which one it is. This is one of my sticky back canvases. And I'd used the bottom half in a class. Just seeing if I can find the same one. Oh, there we go. 
So in one of the classes, I'd used the bottom of this. I'd used the body and put a big head on the top. So this was what was left. Um, and it says she lives in her own little uh, fairy tale. But here, she lives in her own. And I carried on the little and I put world. Because I was. I was, uh, cause I was in isolation as well. Until my results came back. I was, you know, I was isolating, so I was all on my own, and I was in my own little world. So that was that. That was that page there, uh, and then the last one I've done. There's quite a lot of pages there, though, wasn't it? Um, mm. It was Sunday. It was Sunday the sixteenth, and I fact I'd got these new <laughs> Wellingtons. I think again. I think they call them gum boots or galoshes or rubber boots. I'm not sure. We call them Wellingtons, but Wellingtons are normally not stylish and up to your knee. And of course, I had to find some animal print ones. So I have these lovely little ankle boots because coming from the house down to the studio, it's not far, but it you know it can be. I, I, I tend to wear, not wear anything in the house, and I've got slippers down in the studio, so I just need something to pop on to walk down with when it's raining. So I had my uh, Wellingtons on, and then I also have an animal print umbrella because you, you know a rainy Sunday is no excuse to not look stylish. Yeah. So, so that's what I was doing, um, and then I got this far. Um, and I popped these in, but I'm so I'm going to do a page with that. So I actually did. How what, how many did we do? Where were we? We were on the fifth. So there's eleven days worth there. I'm still far behind, but I will catch up with a lot. So, um, but considering I was really ill, I'm really pleased with it. And it was great to just come down and just do half an hour, or just do three quarters of an hour. And if I wasn't coughing or if I wasn't hadn't lost my voice, I would have filmed them, but there was no point um, doing. But, but I was feeling so ill and horrible and this perked me up every day. Every day it was just like, I'll just go down and see if I can do a bit. And every day I felt that just a little bit perked more. So I'm really chuffed with that. So next video you'll see will be me doing this page and finishing off this page because I stuck them down without thinking so I'm going to do this page and then I'll finish off this page and then hopefully we shall speed up and get uh, nearer to the end because we are almost in I'm trying to think what date it is we're, we're almost near the end aren't we so I have got my September book ready somewhere um, so yes so apologies for being away but I was ill I am back I was that ill I even had to cancel a class I had to ca cancel one of my live classes which is going ahead um Sunday I don't know what day this is now <laughs> so that's going ahead I think it's Sunday the 23rd um it's not like me to cancel a class at all but anyway I am back so hopefully everything will go as planned Okay, I'll just finish my cup of tea now. Thanks for popping in and I'll see you all tomorrow.